Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have seen the truth tables and we have seen some examples for the truth table in discrete mathematics. And today we are going to discuss about the three concepts which are tautology, contradiction and contingency. Tautology, contradiction and contingency in discrete mathematics, right? So we'll go one by one. So before going to that, we have to know about what is a compound statement or the statement formula. So we know that the atomic, the com uh, combining multiple simple propositions, we form a compound statement. So in that compound statement, we are going to use the connectives, different connectives, all these things we have discussed in our previous sessions. Now we'll see what is a tautology. So before that, we have seen the truth table also. So the truth table will be having the truth value for all the possibilities. So if there are n number of propositions in our statement formula, so 2 power n possibilities will be there and we have to find out the truth value for all the 2 power n possibilities, right? So similarly, so here the first one is tautology. So when we will be calling the compound proposition as a tautology. So if the truth value, if the truth value for all possibilities, for all possibilities gives true, that means the last column should have all truths, then it is called tautology, right? So for every compound proposition, we are supposed to find the truth table. And if all the possibilities we are getting the truth value, the result as true, then such type of compound proposition is called as a tautology. Example, let us check with P or negation p p or negation p so here how many propositions only one proposition so how many uh, how many possibilities will be there only two that means two power n that means two power one possibilities possibilities so we can write it here p negation p p or negation p so there are only two possibilities one is true Another one is false. If P is true, negation P will be false. If P is false, negation P will be true. So P or negation P. So true or false. We know that connective of or. If both the results of both the truth values are true, then only the result will be true. Sorry. If any one of the proposition, if the, any one of the proposition result is true, then it will be true. Right? That is an or operation. So true, false. It will be true false true it will be true and you can observe for all these possibilities so here we are having only two possibilities for all these possibilities the result we are getting is true so the last column gives true that means all possibilities it gives the true so this is a called as a tautology this we call it as a tautology right so one more example we'll take one more example, P conditional, P or Q, P conditional, P or Q, right? So now let us check P, Q, P or Q, P implies P or Q. So there are four possibilities because we are having a two propositions. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. P or Q. So true and true. So true or true, 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 false, true, false, true, true, false, false, false. Now P implies P or Q. 
P implies. Implies the truth table for implies means if P is true and Q is false, then only the result will be false. Otherwise, all the remaining possibilities will be getting the true. So true, true, yes, true. True, true, yes, true. False, true. That's also true. So only we'll be getting true and false, then only we'll be getting false, right? So here false true. And false, false. This is also true. So you can observe for all possibilities the truth value becomes true. So then this we can call it as a tautology. Tautology. Hope you understood. So first we have to find out the truth table and we have to get all the truths for, I mean the true, only true for all the possibilities. Then we can say that compound proposition as a tautology. Now the second one contradiction. So which is quite opposite to the tautology. Contradiction. So the same definition, if the truth value for all possibilities gives false, not true. Right? If the truth value for all possibilities gives false, then it is called contradiction. It's called a contradiction. Now, the example for this one. So P and negation P. How many possibilities? 2 power 1, which is 2 possibilities. <coughs> we'll write P, negation P, P and negation P. So only two possibilities. One is true and false. If P is true, negation P will be false. If P is false, negation P will be true. So end operation, which gives if any one of the proposition truth value is false, then result will be false. So true, false. So obviously it will be false. False, true. Again, it will be false. And you can observe the last column, which gives the false for all the possibilities. So this particular thing or this particular composite proposition can be treated as contradiction. Example for contradiction. Okay. So let us take one more example. Let us take one more example. Yes, let us consider this example. So how many propositions? There are two propositions. So two power, two possibilities. How many possibilities? Four possibilities. So let us write here P, Q, and then we need to perform P or Q. And next we have to perform negation P, negation Q, negation P and negation Q. And finally the result so we can consider this as A and this as B. So the next one will be A and B. Okay, there is no space. So I have considered them as A and B, right? Now let us take all the combinations. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. P or Q. So if any one of the proposition truth value is true, the result will be true. So true, true, true and false. Negation P. So which will be false, false, true and true. Negation Q. So false, true, false, true. So we need to perform end operation for both A and B, right? Sorry, sorry. So this is negation, end. And means if any one of the proposition result will be false, then automatically the result will be false. So false, false, it will be false. False, true, again it's false. True, false, again it's false. True, true, it will be true. Now we have to perform A and B. So for this column and for this column, we need to perform end operation. End operation means if any one of the truth value is false, then automatically it will result false. So true, false, obviously it will be false. True, false, false, true, false, false, false and true. Again, this false. So you can check the final result, the final result. This is a final result. So final result will be having the false for all possibilities. So obviously 
we can say this as an example for contradiction right so the tautology means the final result should be all true and contradiction means the final result should be all false now we'll go with the next one that is a contingency 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 so what is the definition of contingency that means when we can say the compound proposition is called as a contingency so if the compound proposition compound proposition is neither tautology nor contradiction neither tautology nor contradiction is called contingency simple so the given compound proposition should not be tautology or con or contradiction that means the final result should be not completely true not completely false so if the last column the result for all possibilities is the combination of true and false that implies that particular compound proposition or a statement formula will be in contingency is called as a contingency so now let us take an example so which gives the combination of true and false see you can go with any of the connective any of the connective will be comes under this contingency for example so let us take p or q p or q so p q p or q right so two propositions four possibilities true 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 false false true false false then or operation we know that or operation means if any the, the truth value of any one of the possibility is true the obviously the result will be true so true true it will be true and true false true false true true false 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 so you can say p or q is neither tautology because this here no, we, we are not getting only true for all the possibilities so we are getting a true for three cases and f for one case even though so it is not a tautology and we can also say it is not a contradiction because not all the possibilities use the false value right so only one possibility is giving the false and remaining possibilities we are getting the true so this is all not a contradiction so the result is having both true and false so we can say this one as a contingency which is neither tautology nor contradiction similarly you can go with the p and q so p and q we know that p and q means if the truth value of any one of the possibility or any one of the proposition is false the result will be false so true true and true which will be true true and false it is false false and true false false and false false and here the result you can also see not all the trues and not all the false it's a combination of true and false one combination it gives a true and all the remaining cases we are getting a false so which is comes under this contingency okay so which is neither tautology nor the contradiction is called contingency so let us see one more example now we'll see this example so p implies q and p implies negation q so we here we are having a two proposition so we are we will be having four combinations right so i'll be with p q and we will be having a negation q and p implies q and p implies negation q and obviously then uh, p implies q and p implies negation q so this one right so let us take for the combinations true 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 false false true and false false now negation q will be false true false true now p implies q we know that p implies q means if p then q that means if p is true q should be true so true true yes it is true true false this is a false condition so false false true yes it is true and again it is also true 
Now, same apply the same uh, implies for T and negation Q. This one, T and F, obviously it is false. T and T, it is true. F and F, it is true. F and T, it is true. Now, we have to perform end operation for these two things. And this one and this one. We know that end operation, the truth value for any one of the proposition gives the false, the result will be false. So true false, which gives false. One second, let us check. So P uh, implies Q, true, false, true, true, yes. Next, true, false, it's a false, true, false. Uh, again, it is a false. True and false. Oh, sorry, sorry. True and true, it is true. True, true, it said true. And uh, P implies negation Q. Yes. True, false, true, true. False, false, it's true. And false, true, also, it is true. Right. Now, uh, you can see end operation, if you perform the end operation, we'll be getting all the trues only, right? All the false, because this will be having the false. So, uh, let us take here, if you apply one more uh, implies, implies. So, again, you can apply, so TF, which will be false, false, true, 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 true. So, this is also having all the combination of false and true so obviously this will be comes under this contingency so if you take the same example which is end operation see if you take this one as end operation you can check so true false which will be false false true which will be false true true yes true and true true again it's a true so okay so uh, this condition also we are getting yes in this condition also we are getting the contingency okay it's also a combination of both false false and true true so this is also a contingency okay right so if you use or here what happens let us check instead of and if you apply or see true false which is true false true which is true 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 it is true 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 again true that means a tautology so this formula becomes tautology and instead of or, if you are having n, then it will be, it will be getting so far uh, true false. It's a false, and this is also false. So this is also a contingency. Okay. So hope you understood this tautology, contradiction, and contingency. If the truth value for all the possibilities are true, then it is called as a tautology. And if the truth value for all the possibilities comes with a false then it will be calling as a contradiction and if the truth values i, I mean if the uh, truth values for all the combinations are neither tautology nor uh, contradiction then we can call it as a contingency so that means the result should be in uh, the combination of both the trues and false so this is a contingency so hope you understood about these three tautology contradiction and contingency with these examples so i'll stop here and uh, Practice uh, taking some statement formulas and finding out of whether it, it is a tautology or contradiction and contingency. And uh, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Uh, I will try to clarify all your doubts. Right? So if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.